paste this, changed my mind, decided to start off in the basement. So obviously this is the stairs coming down and the flue. Uh, there's a table and chairs there. The electrical panel. I just had the guy that's going to be putting in the heat pump look at it and he thinks it's going to be okay. It is a 100 amp service. There's been an extra breaker box, which is this one over here, added to the system, which is not a big deal. It's done quite often now. Anyway, uh, there's a fluorescent light there. You can see where the walls could use another coat of paint and stuff like that. But, and down along the floor here is the drain. So if I can get this back enough to get it to look okay, we'll get a shot of it. So it goes right around the entire foundation. There's windows on both sides. But I'm going to turn around and show you the headroom here. Just so you can get an idea of what we're talking about here. I, uh, I don't have a whole lot of spare room. But that doesn't bother me a whole lot for what I'm down here for. It'll be just fine. Anyway, I'm going to keep going around so you can see the rest. Hot water heating, obviously. <clears throat> washer and dryer hook up here, which is fine with us, but we may end eventually move it up somewhere. There's a Humidex running here, and uh, it's not a bad idea. There's the sub pump hole. I think you can see that there's a little bit of water in it and it rained cats and dogs the last two days so that shouldn't be too bad of a situation. Not real fussy on the dryer vent setup but I'll replace that or change it as time goes on of course. So anyway, this is the basement. Such as it is. Plenty of room for me and my airplanes and my trains. We're in the back porch looking out onto the deck outside. Um, obviously it's a steel door. It's getting a little rusty along the bottom there, but not the end of the world. A bit of body filler fixes, stuff like that too. It's plywood on the inside of the porch because there's no... Uh, there's no... Um, uh, no heat register out here. So if you close the door, this door, sorry, if you close this door at night, then your porch would get pretty cool over the course of the night, but the outside door is lockable as well, so not really a big issue. Anyway, we're, I'm backing up in the kitchen here. And uh, so there's the kitchen cupboards, of course. This doorway here is the doorway to the basement. As you can see, the wainscoting and all that is all the old original stuff that was in the house. There is looking down into the basement. And then when I shut the light off here, there. As you can see, the basement's not very dark because there's a fair amount of lights down there anyway. Anyway, that's all finished and done inside as well. So close that back over. Okay. Um, Backing up towards the window you previously saw, obviously, uh, kitchen table would sit there. The fridge is in the corner. There's a cabinet above the fridge, but don't know if I like that or not. But it's probably not a bad idea, I guess. Anyway, off to the living room. So you can see the old lights in the ceiling are still there. They're all good. There's nothing wrong with them. And this, this room is only primed. So I'm into the living room, so to speak, here. And now you can see where the kitchen door is. It's all hardwood floor. And that window over the old mantle style fireplace insert that they had that window is facing the north side of the house. So you can see there's a plug-in up high on the wall there. There's another one on the floor on that side over there. There's one behind the couch, and there's one more in the corner over here. 
down there on the wall. And then this is your left side window in the, in the kitchen, or the living room, sorry, when you're looking in from the street. This would be the one on the right hand side when you're looking in from the street. Again, they're vinyl inserts. Uh, three, uh, three light fixture here. I love all the fixtures. I don't even want to change them, but um, to show you, that's the way the windows are done so that they didn't have to touch the finish on the inside. It's just a vinyl insert all the way around. Still locking windows, you know, the whole, that type of thing. Ceilings are good, they're not falling down or anything like that. This window is facing the south and we just had Kent in here that was giving us a price on the heater unit and that would be placed right there on that wall for the most efficient, the most heating for upstairs, downstairs, the whole bit. So this is the other half of the living room, I guess we will call it. Um, this wall doing the dividing from one room to the other. So I'm going to back up here a little bit just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's like an archway from one half of the room to the other, which is still fine because this room I'm in here now is bigger than the living room we have currently in the head for the last six years. So, okay, I want to show you from over here in this corner. So now I'm looking back. The kitchen doorway is on the other side, of course, and we're in the living room. And this would be the other part of a living room, I guess you call it. And then this is the stairwell to go upstairs. And this room here in its day, this gentleman's using his room for his bedroom because he's 75 years old and he has a hard time with the stairs and everything else, so no more trips than he has to. Um, anyway, it's a nice size room. It's not, it's not a small room at all. That is a double bed that's in there. Now I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs and I am, you can see that the posts are all turned and they got the emblems put on them and stuff like that. It's the original wood stairs. There's nothing been changed. They narrow a little bit at the top, but that's not a big deal to me either. And then there's this kind of finish around in here in the living room, stuff like that. This is the door that takes you out to the sun porch. So when I open this door, it's coming back towards the bottom of the stairs. And you would step out from there into this little sun porch. And again, it's done in plywood, but there is a heater in this porch, so you could be easily sitting out here on a nice warm sunny day in the, in the winter time because the heat register is right there for it. And again, it was made the same as the back one that they used plywood, because if you didn't want to heat it, you didn't have to. You could just close the doors and it's not going to be bothered by the jip rock. Lots of windows, nice view out into the backyard. And then, of course, this is looking out the front door of the house onto the little deck at the front of the house and then this is looking out onto Central Street so if you were coming in from outside of the front door you'd step into here and then you'd see the stairs straight ahead so now we'll head upstairs just so you get an idea of that so Still hardwood floors everywhere. It's the old hardwood. This is the bathroom. It's nothing spectacular, but it's plenty big enough. I love the window idea of being in here. I think that's kind of cool. And of course, there's the plug-ins for your shaver. And we definitely want to put in a new toilet. This one looks like it's 400 years old, which it could be. And this is the other north-facing window. In the bathroom and then there's shelving units a little bit here at the end wall there to take up a bit of space and then there's the tub and shower unit back here and that's something that we wouldn't mind changing as well but it wouldn't have to be done right away but it's something we still would like to change someday down the road you know the doors door knobs all that stuff are all the original stuff for in the house so I'd say that hasn't been cleaned out in quite a little while, but it's not saying it couldn't be done. Definitely could use a coat of paint. Stuff like that, which is, you know, you expect that stuff. 
or at least I am. The house is 83 years old. So then this is the top of the stairs, of course, in my little landing that we were talking about earlier. And this is where I would love to be able to sit and read my books because there's plenty, plenty, plenty of floor space here to be able to sit and do it. This, of course, is looking out over the backyard again. Looking down Central Street and looking out over towards the actual street. So when I'm standing in the far corner over here, if I was sitting in a chair, you have a plug in there in the hall, and then you have the nice rounded banister, and you can see through to the bathroom. There's two bedrooms on this side, one bedroom on the other. This is the narrow door I was talking about, and it's it's got to have a piece put on the bottom down here. I'll show you as I open it. The piece is actually laying in there on the floor, but it should be across the bottom. Now these stairs are very steep, and I'm sure they're not worried about it a whole lot. As you can see, it's plaster, laths on the walls. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go up here without breaking my neck holding the camera. And now this is the attic. And this is surprisingly not as warm up here as I thought it would be. I'm going to stand up on the floor just to see how high the peak actually is. And between the joists, I can stand up here. So that's not too bad after all. There's two old trunks up here. And you can see the insulation all around the bottom. And underneath the floorboards has all been insulated. So the attic is very well insulated. There's a vent at the back looking outside. And the lights, of course. And then there's the flue. And the electrical. And then they have a hatch here that I guess you could put it down in the winter time because if you weren't going to use upstairs you might as well. I just make it a hell of a lot more tidy than it is at the moment. And then that would be looking downstairs to go back down. So anyway, that's the upstairs. And I'll once again go back down, avoiding killing myself in the process. Not necessarily a set of stairs you'd want to travel every day, but you wouldn't be so. It wouldn't really matter. Okay, this is standing again at the top of the stairs. This would be the bedroom facing Central Street. The upstairs window to the left. Heat register. The walls are sloped in here, but it's still a decent size bedroom. It's not right here. My head is just touching the ceiling there now, so you know I'm not. It's not that small of a room. And of course, there's a closet. So then we're back right into the hall. This is the second bedroom. Closet. I'll plug in. Also facing Central Street. Another plug in. And of course another plug in. Slope ceiling as well. And the same wood finish all the way through. And then across the hall, going past the bathroom, to the biggest bedroom. And it's the whole width of the top of the house. So it has the biggest closet, which is a walk-in closet. Too technical on the man's clothing that's here, you know. Anyway, so then we have more plug-ins, of course, same as in the other rooms. Cable and internet here in this room. And then there's only a single bed in here, but and there's two windows to this room. And these face out into the backyard. So there, that's all four floors. <laughs>